<clears throat> well, greetings Libra, welcome to your horoscope. So, I mean, I, I think that Libra is one of the signs that usually fares better during Aries season. Wouldn't we agree on that? Because it's the seventh house, so they're in Dristy with one another. Aries and Libra have a lot in common. They're looking at each other. You know, I, I mean, in some ways, some Libras, not all, can be seen sort of as doormats and wimps of the Zodiac. I mean, I'd say people probably say that sometimes more about Virgos and Pisces, but trust me on this, and this is why. They'll do anything for that feeling of being in love. And, you know, Aries people don't care, don't give a flying fish about what other people think about them. <laughs> and Libras are like, oh my God, if only the world were that simple, if I could be like them. So they love them. So consequently, you know, you'll see all these Libras with these really inconsiderate lovers because of Aries ruling their seventh house. Or maybe they're just really dynamic people. Just a little bit reckless. Just a little bit wild. Just a little bit ego and me-oriented. Sign with the key phrase, I am, and this is who you want to love. And then we've got Venus and Mars, at least at the beginning of the weekend, in the, in the eighth house. So, they're, you know, the libido's strong, but, you know, Venus is moving into the ninth house. So you may end up finding an out-of-town lover. That's always exciting, and at least, you know, that keeps things quiet in town and nobody has to say anything. And You can get through your week with people still feeling sorry for you or just politely having the Cheshire cat smile. 